Welcome to What's the 4 in 1 Quick Takes on Urban Lifestyle and Entertainment News. I'm Kizzy Ka. I'm Onika McLean. Welcome, hey. guys. Hey. It's a lot of stuff going on in news today. Yes, there is. And, you know, we always spilling the tea with the quick takes. And you know who's the queen of spilling tea? Um, Wendy Williams. Yes, <laughs> Wendy Williams. So Wendy Williams is spilling all the tea on herself for a change. Did she really spill it? She she spilled she spilled some tea. Did she, she have it. the cup in her hand? The <laughs> Wendy Williams cup? She did not. But but she was shedding a lot of tears because she said that she had been living for quite some time in a sober house. What's a sober house? A sober house is where you go to get clean when you have some type of addiction. And so she's been living there. She's not at home and she said the only people who knew were her husband and her child. And so she tapes the show. She does her Pilates, and then she has her meetings, and then she goes to the sober house, and then it's lights out at 10 o'clock. So and what, that's what about she's been doing. the arm? Was this a fake sling? No, Did not. she have Nick Cannon and all those people up there lying for? No, not at all, not at all. But I, I do think that there's you more to the issue. she broke her shoulder? I think something's, I definitely think something's physically wrong with her, too. But I think that she's definitely been having this substance abuse addiction. You know, back in the day, she was on cocaine, right? She, she said says, that. She said something about cocaine, but did she say she was on cocaine now? No, she did so not say what it was. So what's the substance? She's in a sober house. And she's launching a foundation, Hunter Foundation. It's a hotline where people can call in and get help if they have substance abuse issues too. So she's trying to make it, you know. She's going to help them while she help herself. Right, right. But I think the first rule of addiction, you have to like, Come clean. You have to come clean. You have to say what what it is, right? Mm. Mm. So anyway, <laughs> so you're not a, you're not impressed. With it. No, no, it just seems like something that her producers made her do. Oh, ooh, wow. You know what I'm that trying to say? So like it, to keep your job. I don't think that's shady. I think to keep your job, a, 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 that's been the play. Most PR people like get into a rehab. And all is forgiven, no? Well, I don't know. Am I am I seeming harsh? You seem a little harsh. Okay. A little hard. And on, am I on seeming girl? like Wendy Williams? Yes. I'm just rem- I'm just remembering when when she came for <laughs> Whitney um, Whitney Houston's edges. Oh yeah, she was talking about, about the drug it. abuse, right? And 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 she called her um, uh, uh, offenders, right? That she used to uh, be an offender. I get it. You know, it's hard. Life is hard. I wish her all the best. Yes, I wish her the best, too. But you know who's not wishing her the best? You know who's not wishing her the best? Who? Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern came for her edges, snatched her bald. But she came for his edges. Yes. You know what I mean? So this is what what happened, guys. So basically, he came up with a book, and she decided to talk about the book on her show. And she says, you know what? Howard Stern has lost his edge, and he's gone Hollywood. (laughs) She says this, Howard... Quote, I love you, but since you've gone Hollywood, everything you say is so predictable. Every story is going to be about, oh, I love this one. And then you go on the yacht. He's a Hollywood insider, which sucks. Why does so, that suck? That's that's what she said. That's what she said. Okay. And because he was supposed to be like this big shock jock, and she said many times that this is one of the people that she so what did looked he up say? to. What did he say? He came back hard. He was yeah. like, okay. He was like, listen, basically, he's... She, he said that she was jealous and that she wanted to be him, couldn't be him, wanted to be Hollywood and couldn't be because no one likes her. And he went harder. This, I'm, I have to quote this one. He says, you know what? What you need to do is worry about your husband, not me. See what I mean? F you YouTube. and your dumb show and your mystery illness. He said, she, he said F yes, you? Yes, he did. He said Ooh. she disappears for two months. Nobody knows why. And now she's questioning me. Thanks, honey. I never fainted on my show either. Boom. So do you think Boom. the fainting has something to do with the addiction? Well, we can speculate. I mean, I'm sure. That's why I'm... she should come clean. Like, if you're going to say something, just tell the whole story and then just let the chips fall where they may. Because at the end of the day, people already know. If she said that little bit on her show, it's because somebody is already about to tell her. I think, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I still, I still think that... You know, her husband is stepping out on her. I think he oh, has a whole the, mistress. With the, with the, with the, um, with the um, matching um, BM, not BMWs. <laughs> what do they have? Bentley trucks? Matching oh. Bentley trucks. It's I bad. It's bad. So I think it all tied into why she started maybe using or whatever, you know, to deal with all of the stuff that's happening with her between the health. You know what? I wish her well because she's somebody's I mom. I do. And sometimes, like, you got to be on the hot seat and it's her turn. Yeah, but you gotta, but you, but right. you gotta be. You have to sit on it. Mm-hmm. 
like Wendy, just say, tell the truth. Just say, like, I'm doing, don't tell me you're addicted. Don't tell me you used to So you really want to know. You want to know what she's on. Well, guess what? When you don't say it, everybody wants to know, right? So that's the new thing. Now, everybody wants mm. to know because you didn't say it. Just say it. You know, I'm having, you guys know I've always had a problem with cocaine and, and I, I slipped back. I slip back. Forgive me. Say something like that. It, like I mean, you, you, nobody's gonna come for your edges once you tell the whole truth. I'm just well, saying. Well, her, her fans are her fans. They're they they're with her no matter what. So right. Okay. So what's this guy? Howard Stern mm -hmm. came for Wendy's edges, mm -hmm. right? Well, let me tell you, some other white man that came with some <laughs> edge control. <laughs> George Clooney came with some edge control for our girl, oh, Duchess of Sussex. Uh, Mar um, Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle, yeah. right? He was like, he says that he thinks that the British tabloids are trying to treat her like they did uh, Princess Diana. I, I absolutely agree. And and he yeah. is not having it. He's like, oh no, you will not do that. He took the Hicks edge control and slid it right back down <laughs> for our Duchess. And good I for you, her. George Clooney, with your cute self. Oh, meow. <laughs> so let me tell you what, what else is happening mm -hmm. on page six reporting. That little leave in Neverland. Oh, oh whoa, guess, that yeah. fallout. I know, but you know what? We didn't consider the children. Right. 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 So Paris, Prince, and Prince Michael. The blank blanket. The blanket. Blanket. Mm, blanket, yeah. They're, they're like, they're going to sue. They're going to sue the guys that, who's, who's, what's the guy's name? So it's um, Wade Robson Wade Robinson and James. and James Safechuck. Safe right. He's, they said that they're going to sue them for defamation of character, um, distress, emotional, um, wow. um, emotional distress, slander, misrepresentation. Like, they're like, first of all, you slandered our dad's name. One of the children, like they said, um, like I heard, right? I, I allegedly uh, attempted suicide again, Paris. Yeah, Paris. Right? So, so this one. now, now I'm not sure if that's the truth, right? Because you know you hear conflicting stories, but you don't like people don't think about what happens the with the kids. family, right. right? Yes. So Michael Jackson is departed, but he has children. He has. An, I'm surprised that the state is not saying that they're going to sue him because I'm sure they're they coming are. for the state. Like I'm what? Sure and then some of those stories are not to diminish anyone in in their you know recollection of what happened to them, or I'm not going to victim shame in any kind of way. But some of those stories, when people went back and investigated, it didn't line up. So I mean, I don't know. But so I, we're going to watch that story. What I know is that if I was his daughter or child or whatever what have you I it would be extremely thing. difficult for me to think of my dad in that way as a any pedophile dad. as as, as any you know dad. or anything you know that was that monstrous the, Ke the kelly so, children trust me they don't believe that yeah so well that's a different story they don't even talk to their dad so that's a different story entirely but you still but love your dad you do you do you do well that is going to bring us to the end of our quick takes. Now we're going to go on with the rest of the show. If you want to see the rest of the show, you need to go to our YouTube channel, What's the Four One TV, and subscribe. And make sure to hit that bell so you know exactly when our new video is uploaded. Yes. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to us on podcast or the Alexa mm -hmm. Flash Briefing, thank you. Now go tell a friend and both of you subscribe. What's the 411 Entertainment News? 411 Lifestyle.